So you're thinking about moving to Centennial, Colorado. Today in this video, we're going to show you all the cool things about Centennial, and we're also going to show you three properties at three different price points, $500,000, $750,000, and a million dollars, so you get a good idea of what you're going to get for your money in Centennial. Stick around until the end, and we're going to share two pretty cool secrets about Centennial that not many people know, and we're going to get after it right now. first time to our channel we're so glad to have you make sure you subscribe below or tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first person to know everything there is to know about living in Centennial and Denver Colorado my name is Michelle and I'm Cheryl Crown and we are living, living in Denver, Denver Colorado. Colorado we get phone calls every day for people just like you looking to make the move to Denver Colorado today we're covering Centennial Colorado and uh, whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email all of our contact information is below, and that way you can be the first one to hear about all of our new videos and updates about different towns in and around Denver, Colorado. We are realtors and we do enjoy giving you all the information you need about the various towns around our great city here, but we can also help you if you're looking to make the move so you can make a smooth and easy transition to Denver, Colorado. So here we are in Centennial, Colorado. We're hanging out at a coffee shop. Um, just some general information about Centennial. It consists of about 110,000 people. Uh, the average or the median age of a resident of Centennial is 37 years old. The average house costs $650,000, and that's an approximation. It ranges anywhere from about 630 to 680, depending on your source. The city itself was established in 2001, so it's a very new city relative to the rest of the cities and towns in the Denver metro area. The crazy thing about it, though, is if you look on a map, when you think about a new city, you think it's kind of on the outskirts, but uh, if you look on our Google map tour, uh, you'll see that Centennial is pretty much in the center of the southern portion of the Denver metro area. And if you look at it, it's got some really strange boundaries. So the kind of a, a fun story about it is that um, it, again, was established in 2001 and it was created from different pockets of unincorporated cities around it. So Aurora, Parker, Littleton, and Essentially, the from what, what, what I understand is that, that it was created in order to keep other cities from taking eminent domain and creating these higher tax bracket cities. So when this one was supposedly founded, it was passed by the voters um, on the grounds that the tax rate would never go above 1%. <laughs> um, that's not the case anymore. It's definitely um, you know not the highest in the in the area, but it's it's not no longer at that 1%. So yeah, it, kind of a funny story and, and being from being from here, I remember when all that was going on, people either loved the idea or they hated it. It was a very divided topic. And um, in fact, a lot of locals still don't even really refer to Centennial um, when they're speaking about these areas of town, they refer to it as Littleton or Aurora because again, it kind of intermingles. Most of it falls on the west side of I-25. So again, check out our map door. You can kind of see the it in relation to things, but most of it falls in a large quadrant on the west side of I-25. That's where most of your entertainment business um, commercial districts are gonna be. On the east side, as predominantly all uh, residential, with the exception of your corner grocery stores and strip malls and things of that nature. Uh, one of uh, kind of Centennial's claim to fame is Ikea. We have an Ikea right over here behind us, actually. It's second largest in the country. It is, actually. Mm -hmm. And it, when it was built, it was big talk that uh, we were finally getting an Ikea in Colorado. And I still think it's actually our, our only Ikea here still in Colorado. I think it is, too. It's a little bit of an eyesore from my perspective, but I do like shopping there. It's bright and blue. It's bright and blue and it stands and yellow. out from the highway. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get you some video footage of that. Yeah. So um, school districts, there are two in Centennial actually um, a majority of centennial feeds into the cherry creek school district and the very further furthest um, west side of centennial feeds into littleton uh, public schools that's a little unique i'd say for towns in in the denver metro area usually you know parker feeds into douglas county highlands ranch right. feeds into douglas county so but they have two you can't go wrong with either one of them both are great right. fabulous uh school districts high test scores high graduation rates so if schools are important to you um even if you don't have kids that is definitely something to keep in mind for resale value absolutely because uh just because you don't have kids but when you go to sell it the people buying your house may want to be in a strong school district and that definitely helps your resale value for sure yeah well that's one thing you can't change about your home is where 
where it's located and what school it feeds into. So that's definitely something that's important to consider when you're buying, regardless of your fam family status. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Um, another thing that is positive about uh, Centennial or is a, is a sell good selling point is they have a big recreation uh, presence. So there's two recreation districts that uh, lie in the city of Centennial. And with that, I'm going to actually have to read you some of this because I can't remember all these numbers. Mm -hmm. um, there's a total of four rec centers, an entertainment center, uh, two complexes that have sheets of ice for ice skating, hockey, you name it. Uh, there's a community center, a sports complex, four golf courses, three miniature golf courses, 50 tennis courts, a BMX track, batting cages, athletic fields, 61 playgrounds, and over 100 miles of trails. So uh, being right smack kind of in the southern portion of the metro area, you have immense activities for, or immense opportunities for outdoor activities. And uh, that's a lot for the size of the city. Yeah, a lot of options. Uh, one thing Centennial is lacking is a, a like a formal downtown. Yeah, like um, old town. Or yeah, something. yeah, exactly. So because it's such a new city, um, but it does have something called the Streets at South Glen, which is a really cool um, shopping center, restaurant. Um, you'll see it here in the video, uh, and. It's got a Whole Foods, you know, grocery shopping, a lot of locally owned businesses um, operate theater. there. Oh yeah, the movie theater. They have a nice skating outdoor place, yep. fire pit. Fire pit, yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. although it's not a downtown officially, um, it does, it has a nice ambiance. It does, it does. It's yeah. it's busy and mm -hmm. hopping and it's got that cool vibe. It also has, uh, it also is host to several of the festivals that the city of Centennial puts on. One of the biggest ones they do is a chalk fest, a chalk art fest. Mm -hmm. And that is in the summer. They have uh, like over 50 artists come. They draw their beautiful chalk murals on the ground. Uh, I think they do it in August because it doesn't really rain in August in Colorado. So it's probably smart. Yeah. <laughs> smart marketing on their part for sure. Um, the city also does a uh, Centennial Under the Stars, which is a big laser light fair. So it's your typical fair. They have food vendors, art vendors, booths, uh, but they also do a, a laser, laser light, show. light show, which mm -hmm. is phenomenal. And that it draws a huge crowd here in Centennial. Um, it's one of their biggest fairs that they do. They do several others throughout the year, but those kind of are their two biggest, uh, most popular ones from what we hear. Uh, one other last thing, if uh, you're a sports fan, this is pretty cool. Uh, the Denver Broncos facility is actually housed and home based in Centennial. Uh, they are a big complex on the east edge of the town. It has uh, practice facilities, there are offices. And so every summer they actually open up uh, Training camp. Trains, yeah, spring mm -hmm. training, uh, not the best baseball. Right. Oh, <laughs> training camp to, uh, to the public. It's free, mm -hmm. you can go, players stick around afterwards, sign autographs. Uh, it's, it's a really fun environment. My husband and I go every year and take our kids and it's, it's same, same. I'm, I'm a Bronco fan, so what can I say? Um, but yeah, so now from here, we're gonna go out and check out three different neighborhoods. So you can mm -hmm. kind of see what Centennial neighborhoods are like, what you get, and uh, so let's go. Okay, so here we are in Centennial. Our This neighborhood that we're in is a uh, townhome community. It's gonna get you a two bedroom, three bath townhouse for approximately $520,000 currently. Uh, with that, uh, you do have an HOA in this community and it only covers the exterior maintenance and grounds maintenance. So um, all those recreation centers we talked about uh, earlier, that's where you're gonna take advantage of those. <laughs> for um, sure. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing about this location is that, or the, about this neighborhood is location. So you are super, super close to 470 on the south, which is the interstate. I-25 on the east, which is the interstate. Uh, there's Park Meadows Mall, which is not technically in Centennial, but it's literally walking distance from here because we are on the south edge of Centennial at this location. Uh, you're also going to be within walkable di distance of uh, the light rail, which run runs along I-25, which can take you easily into the Denver Tech Center, which is that bit southern business district that we have, as well as downtown Denver. Or DIA. Yeah, or DIA. You can jump on 470 real fast and get out to DIA that way. Or with the light rail. I mean. Oh yeah, with light rail. Yeah, yeah, because they do take, they do go out there now. Yeah. 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 Um, Another thing that Centennial that we didn't mention earlier is that it has a lot of access to business districts. There's a lot of uh, corporate business locations just to the east here and to the north. So if you want something that has a real short commute, um, 
this location in Centennial is a great place for you. So yeah, that's it here. That There's a lot of open space around this neighborhood, a lot of arterial roads, so you can get in and out real easy with access to uh, pretty much anything you need. Um, in the southwest section of Centennial, Colorado. Yep. Uh, this specific home is about 3,100 square feet finished, 1,800 up and 1,300 in the basement. Um, it is a ranch, as you'll see. It's five bedroom, three bathroom. Um, nice corner lot, probably about a quarter of an acre. And as far as location goes, we are very close to 470. 470 is only about like five minutes south yeah, of yeah. here, if, um, yeah. yeah, if that. And then there is shopping, there are restaurants, uh, not really much walkability, but... A good central location to pretty much every direction uh, in your car. Absolutely. Yeah, and this neighborhood gives you mature uh, landscaping, a little bit older homes. Uh, so, you know, if you're wanting something brand new, a lot of these are probably different models on the inside, or give you a little bit of flexibility to put in some sweat equity. Own equity that way by doing some of the work yourself. Yeah. And um, it's also Cherry Creek School District, which is a top in the state. Yep. All right, we'll see you at the next place. Thank you. Okay, so we are now in a neighborhood called Piney Creek Ranches. We are about 20 minutes uh, from the other house that we visited, which was in about the middle of Centennial, if you're looking at an east-west perspective. So we're on the far east end of Centennial, and this is obviously more of a rural setting. Uh, this neighborhood allows for horses, uh, other various livestock. This house sits on two and a half acres. It is a million two hundred thousand dollars. It's six bedrooms, four baths, 3,600 square feet total. So you're gonna have about 2,400 above grade with a finished basement of 1,400. And even though this is a more rural area, you're really not too far uh, from grocery stores, strip malls, uh, drug stores, that type of thing. So uh, it kind of gives you an idea that you can be in the city with a little bit more land and acreage and space if that's something that's important to you. We're about eight miles um, east of I-25. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And literally you go a little bit south, a little bit north, and you're back into the suburb feel of community uh, builder developments. But this is just a little pocket that, you know, as the city grew, uh, it expanded out and these homes were here. Uh, so most of them in this neighborhood are a little bit older because of the lot sizes. Um, you know, they were, they've been established here for quite a while. So um, that's our million dollar home. So we basically showed you uh, three different price points today in Centennial, Colorado, uh, and toured you around, showed you the streets of South Glen, coffee shops, and business district areas. Yeah. Yep, yep, and do you wanna give them a little fun information? Oh yeah, so um, the two things that we mentioned earlier, first thing, um, we found it interesting in our research for this video that it's a misconception that Centennial Airport, which is a private airport, most people think it's located in Centennial, but Centennial Airport was actually established before Centennial, the city was even established. So Centennial Airport actually resides in Englewood, Colorado. And the reason it's called Centennial Airport is because Colorado is the Centennial state. Yep, yep, so anybody who's telling you otherwise, maybe doesn't really know their, their Colorado stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
We do though. We do, we do. <laughs> the yeah. second interesting tidbit about living in Centennial, Colorado. Yeah, so in the streets of South Glen, where we were uh, talking, what we were talking about earlier today, there is actually an indoor snowboarding and skiing facility where you can take lessons, uh, shred some snow, whatever it is you like to do without having to go all the way to the mountains. It is one of very few indoor snow facilities in the nation. So that's kind of a little fun fact about Centennial that uh, we have our own little indoor skiing and snowboarding facility. No need to drive up the mountains. Nope. You can just head on over to South Glen. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, um, again, thank you for joining us on this tour of Centennial, Colorado. Uh, again, if you would please subscribe or like. Tap the notifications below so that uh, you, you can, can be, be the, the first one to know everything there is to know about Centennial and Denver. Thank you. Share the love.